In this video, we will show you how to replace your power liftgate actuator on this Jeep Grand Cherokee. This will be located inside the rear of your passenger compartment. Let's get into it. Okay friend, let's get started on our power liftgate actuator. Before we start dislodging it from the vehicle, we have to actually make our way disconnecting the electrical harness. This electrical harness makes its way behind this rubber grommet in and behind the plastic trim panel located inside of your passenger compartment. With that said, let's start taking off some trim panels so we can gain access behind this area. To be able to make our way behind here to gain access to the electrical connector, we're going to have to make our way behind this trim panel. We don't have to physically remove too many trim panels, but we do have to remove the upper trim panel from this area. To get this out of here, we can use a plastic trim tool. We'll use this plastic trim tool, come up along the seal, gently pry in between, separating this. We'll pull that down and out of place, a quick inspection of course, and we'll set it aside. Continuing from there, we're going to take hold of this plastic panel and start pulling it down. There's a small metal clip that's located right here. We'll just carefully tug on this. Sometimes the clip will stay attached to the plastic, other times it pops out of place. If it pops out of place, that's okay. We'll slide it back on during the installation process. Continuing on, we're gonna continue tugging this down in a way, but we're not going to fully remove it. We just have to make our way right to this area where the electrical connector is located. You can see it right back there. We have our wiring harness with our gray connector. At this point, I'm going to use a small chunk of wood as a spacer. I don't wanna cause any damage, but I do wanna hold it apart while I continue. To disconnect this, there's a small locking tab. Depress that, disconnect it, a quick inspection for corrosion. There's our locking tab, you just squeeze that in, slide it right out of place. Now let's follow that wiring harness, you'll find that it leads right out into this area. To be able to remove this, we'll have to take hold of it and carefully pry it out of place. If you need to, you could use a plastic trim tool. Apply support under your lift gate. Now we can start dismounting it. We'll start up where it connects onto the lift gate. On either side of this actuator, you're going to have the same clip. This one's a little bit easier to see. It's right out in the open. To do this, you can use a pick or even just a small screwdriver. Make your way underneath this area and gently pry out on the locking clip. Once you have that pried out, you can continue on by sliding this out of position. Make sure you have support underneath that lift gate, as I mentioned before. A quick inspection. And now let's make our way all the way down to the other side and repeat this same process. Now for this one, I'm going to use an angled pick. It's much easier to get underneath that clip. Just pull that right out. And now we can remove that from the vehicle. There it is, friend. Now that we have that out of there, let's make sure we clean both of the mounting points for this. You just want to give them a quick wipe, make sure they're not rotted and damaged in any way. We have the one on the body and one on the lift gate. Once you've completed that, we'll also make sure that we clean the body of the vehicle where our wiring harness will go through. A quick inspection of that as well, of course. Now it's time for installation of our brand new lift gate actuator. Let's start with the area that goes to the body of the vehicle. We're going to have our wiring harness. We want to make sure that's going to be able to slide right on through there. We'll line this up with its mounting point and press it right in. Listen for a click from that. Once you've completed that action, let's follow this all the way up to the lift gate. At this point, you may have to raise or lower the lift gate as necessary. We'll just slide this right into position. Listen for a click. Give it a tug, make sure it's properly secured. Now we're gonna make our way back down to the body of the vehicle and start our wiring harness through the body of the vehicle leading into the passenger compartment. Let's take that wiring connector. We're gonna bring it right on through the body of the vehicle. You can see it making its way through into the passenger compartment. Continuing from here, we're going to attach this. We'll give it a light tug to make sure it's properly secured.
One last quick inspection in this area. We'll continue on to resecuring our plastic trim panels. We'll remove our spacer from this area. Continuing on, we need to make sure that we do have that metallic clip on here. Ours came off, so I'm just gonna go ahead and slide it right back on there. For this, it just presses right on. A quick confirmation it's properly secured. Now we can start aligning this and pressing it up into position. We wanna get that metal clip up into its locked position. Now let's get our plastic panel on the top there. It's gonna get this aligned. In this area, we'll be installing our rubber plug here. We want to ensure that no moisture or miscellaneous debris makes its way into the passenger compartment. Just go ahead and gently flex it into position, give it a light tug, make sure it's properly secured in place. Okay, friend, we're mounted to the vehicle. The next thing we have to do is manually close the lift gate. After that, we'll test the functionality. Perfect. Thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.